Conor McGregor is arguably one of the most confident icons in sports history. Whenever he was asked about his upcoming fights, he spoke with absolute certainty, and he didn't doubt his victory even for a split of a second. So today we're going to look at what made him such a remarkable man, what made him so confident before every fight, and how you can use the techniques he did to become much more confident yourself. The first thing you have to know about Conor McGregor is that he could trash talk like no one else. He could look at the other fighters in the eye before the fight and tell them exactly how he was going to beat them because he believed what he was saying. And yes, he did visualize all the fights in advance, but the key to becoming confident is believing you can do whatever you're saying. Nine, if you think I celebrate number nine, you're highly mistaken, my friend. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm number one. And when Dustin's head clatters off that canvas. Now, there are many techniques to become confident, and visualization is certainly one of them. But I'd still argue that the reason why Conor McGregor is so confident is his work ethic and his mindset that he was born winner. He wants to win more than anyone else, and he believes he works harder than everyone else. Hard will pass, so take, take notes. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse. So if you want to become more confident, you have to be constantly working and improving in that area. For years now, I've been teaching guys how to become better with girls and how to quit nine to five jobs so they can make a living by doing what they love. And in either case, whether you want to become more interesting as a person and date gorgeous women, or you want to quit your nine to five job and make money while you're doing what you love, you have to be working on it every single day. Getting that small incremental improvement every single day is crucial. It's the same with confidence. You have to be constantly pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And the more you do it, the more your comfort zone expands. You could think of it as a muscle. The more you push yourself over the edge at the gym, the faster you grow. Now, the third thing that makes Conor McGregor incredibly confident is something not many people talk about because it may seem counterintuitive at first. Confident body language poses. And McGregor is a master of those. Listen, whenever you feel uncomfortable in a situation, you naturally start closing your body posture. You cross your legs, you cross your arms, you lean backwards as to somehow physically distance yourself from whatever makes you uncomfortable. And whether you notice it or not, it makes it seem as you're very uncomfortable in other people's eyes. Now, although all men naturally do that whenever they're uncomfortable, the recent research proved that you could consciously use certain body language poses to increase your confidence level. And that's exactly what Conor McGregor does. He takes up space. No matter whether he's on a late night show or he's talking with his opponents before the fight, he takes up as much space as he needs. Look what he does here. He has open body posture. He takes up as much space as he wants. And he's just moving casually as it's not a big deal. So a quick lesson. Whenever you're feeling uncomfortable next time, remember what McGregor does. And instead of closing your body language, open it up even more, even if it might feel exaggerated. Because although that might make you seem awkward the moment you do it, your body adapts quickly and you stop feeling the tension very, very soon. Now, the last quick tip, watch how you speak in a situation when you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Because whenever you're feeling uncomfortable and awkward, small things like mmm and unnatural pauses make it or break it. Just watch the video in which McGregor's opponent talks how he's going to beat McGregor. Uh, for me, man, uh, you know, it, it, that's, a, that's something that happens every night, every day, and uh, every time it's different, you know. Sometimes it's on the feet, sometimes it's a mission, but, but in the end, my hand's raised every time, and I'm 100% confident in that, you know. It seems like even he doesn't believe he's going to win. He's using a lot of, um, you know, and does something at the end that ruins the last piece of confidence that he had. I'm going to repeat this one more time, but notice what he does as he finishes the sentence. Uh, for me, man, uh, you know, it, it, that's, a, that's something that happens every night, every day, and uh, every time it's different, you know. 
sometimes on the feet, sometimes it's submission, but, but in the end, my hand's raised every time, and I'm 100% confident in that, you know? I'm 100% confident, you know? It's like he's trying to convince himself that he believes he can beat McGregor, but he can't, and everyone else can see that. He's afraid of McGregor, and there's no person in the audience who can't see that. So if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, not like in a verbal diatribe with McGregor, but in a situation when you're feeling uncomfortable and you're in front of the other people, shorten your sentences because that way you're going to get rid of ums and the logic of your sentences is going to flow much better. Then next thing, take up more space and slow down as you're speaking. The last thing, constantly be pushing yourself over the edge. Make yourself feel uncomfortable on purpose because that's how you grow the fastest.